Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across statements like, It may rain today. He may possibly join politics. He is probably right. His tickets may get confirmed. In all such statements, we generally use the term possible, may, maybe, probably. All these terms convey the same sense that the event is not certain to take place. Or basically, we are talking about the chances that it may rain or it may not rain. Likewise, he may join politics or he may not join politics. He may be right or he may not be right. And his tickets may get confirmed or may not get confirmed. So all these are basically chances. Hence we can say that the word probability denotes that there is uncertainty about what has happened or what is going to happen. And later in this chapter, we will study how to assign numerical value to the degree of uncertainty. And that will be called probability. Or in simple layman's language, when we are able to measure chances in terms of numerical values, that is called probability. To reach a position where we can assign numerical value to the degree of uncertainty, we need to define certain terms. Let us define experiment. An operation which can produce some well-defined outcomes is called an experiment. For example, if you toss a coin the outcomes are well defined. Either you will get a head or you will get a tail. Similarly, if you toss a dice, then the outcomes are well defined. It will be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. For that matter, even the science experiments, if repeated under identical conditions, will obtain almost the same results every time, then those are also called experiments. So we come to a conclusion that there are two types of experiments. That is deterministic experiments and random experiments. We define deterministic experiments as those experiments which when repeated under identical conditions produce the same result. That means we already know their outcome. Their outcome is already known to us and we are just repeating the experiment. For example, our science experiment which when repeated under similar conditions will give same results. If an experiment is such that when repeated under identical conditions do not produce the same outcomes on repeating but the outcome is one of the possible outcomes then it is said to be a random experiment. One of the examples is tossing a dice. Every time you toss a dice, it will give a different outcome. But we know that it has to be one of the possible outcomes that is 1, 2, 3 and so on till 6. Throughout this chapter, we will only discuss random experiments. And to reach probability, we now need to define 
event and before defining event we need to know what is an elementary event we say that outcome of a random experiment is called an elementary event that means consider we toss a coin then what all outcomes are possible we can either get a head let us denote it by h or we can either get a tail let us denote by t then we define getting head as one elementary event say e1 denote by e1 and getting a tail is another elementary event which can be denoted by e2 let us consider another example we say that we conduct an experiment of tossing two coins then we can have four elementary events that is either we can get two heads or we can get one head and one tail or tail and head or we can get two tails and now we are in a position to define event we can say that in an event two or more elementary events of a random experiment are compounded let us consider an event getting same result on both the coins when two coins are tossed then e1 elementary event e1 and e4 gets associated to our event and hence when we perform the experiment if we get both heads or both tails we can say that our event has occurred we normally denote our event by some alphabet say we denote it by a then we will say that event a has occurred if while performing experiment we get both heads or both tails now we are in a position to assign numerical values to the degree of uncertainty or find the probability to do that let us consider an experiment random experiment is tossing a dice then we can have six elementary events we can get 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 on the upper face now let us have an event to get even number event a can happen only if while tossing the dice we get 2 or 4 or 6 that means the possible outcomes for the event to happen are 2 4 or 6 and now we can find the probability of event a to happen as 3 by 6 since three elementary events satisfy our event 
out of the total six possible events. Note that three is the number of outcomes that make the event A, while six is the total number of outcomes of the experiment tossing the dice. Solving it further, we get 1 by 2 and we can say that the probability of getting even number on tossing a dice is 1 by 2. Now for the same experiment, if we define event B as getting a 6, then only one elementary event will satisfy our event B and we will get probability of B is equal to 1 by 6.